All right, we're going to do a quick video on replacing the trolley handles, the telescopic trolley handles on the S18. So the King Song S18, um, the trolley handles got bent uh, going over rough terrain so it won't go down. Um, so we're going to replace those um, in this video. So I contacted E-Wheels got some replacement parts including the inner rods and the outer aluminum uh, handle rails so we're going to start by undoing these screws right here all right so I've undone the bottom screw and the top one's here very fine thread and I drop it in here so I should be able to just take the handle out like that so pulling the handle out Okay, I'll have to, may have to detach those, we'll see. Uh, they may be fine. All right, now we need to get these poles out. So this may be more of a challenge, because as you can see, this one is really bent. All right, so uh, tip. Uh, so these plungers, uh, when you push the button, they push out and that's the mechanism by which we release the handle so I've had to put the handle back on and push push the button to get this tube here to release inside so if your tubes get stuck that's what you'll have to do all right so because these tubes are bent I had to turn it around to get the bent part up and back on the tire and then push down hard to try to straighten the tube a little bit. Straightening the tube, turning it and pushing it, I'm eventually able to get it to go back inside, uh, which is what we want because they are going to come out here on the bottom of the, the frame poles. All right, so we can see the one pole, we've pushed one pole in, a bit of persuasion with the screwdriver to stick it in a bit deeper, and one pole that's out. On this side, and we see that the pole here uh, needs to come out, and down the bottom one, we don't see the bottom. So we need to get that out. I just need to get some force on that on that pole. So got a big screwdriver on the edge of it, pushed it out, and so now we are here with the, the pole able to bent pole able to come out so that's what we've got so now I should be able to replace that putting in a new one so let's try that now okay just a brief description about how these things work just I think interesting so at this end we have a little spring based pin push it in out there and so what happens is the, the handle from the trolley with this plunger Basically, slides down to the end here, and that pin, when we push on it, goes in and out. And so, so that's that's all we do. Right, I'm just going to put a bit of lithium grease. Here, this works with the silicon. Just push the plunger down, put some grease inside. All right, so we got some white lithium grease in there, a little bit of grease around the outside too, just to ease it into spot in the spot. And so we're ready to insert it. Okay, so this should go in a lot smoother. So we're doing this one-handed. So, so we'll just slide this in back into the piece with a wiggle, push the tab down, and we're in. And here it is on this side too. And spin it around and you get the click. And that's in the right direction, the handle will keep it in place. All right, time to do the other side. Okay, that's released. You can see that it is 
really bent. You want to be careful when you're doing this because if you don't bend it correct, you want to be conservative in terms of your bend because if you bend it the wrong way and then you get it jammed inside the frame, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get out. So I'm going to try to get this the right angle so I can get a little bit of weight on it and just try to bend it so it's straight so I can slide it out. If it was really bent, like if it had a fold in the pipe, I would cut it. Um, I wouldn't try to push it down. All right, I bent it enough so that it's mostly straight. So I'm just taking my time to slide it in. I could also use some additional lubricant there to make it go in a little bit better. But it seems to be sliding all right, so now we'll just push it through the rest of the way. All right, I'm going to need two hands for this. Two bent stays out. One, I'm going to repeat the process, put a bit of grease on this. Uh, I don't see any reason to replace the plungers. They look to be good. Um, even though I did get a new set with the parts, um, might as well just keep using these ones for now. Alright, so pull both ends out until they click. Now that's in the upright position. Put the handle on, oriented the correct way. And re screw the screws in. So new trolley handle, comes up to the first click, button comes up to the top, seems to work fine. Let's turn it on. Trolley handle's working properly in the lift mode and works. So we're good to go with bent stays, bent trolley stays out and new ones in.